Hello everyone, I'm Min ji from Carnegie Mellon University. Today, I'm going to talk about our work, Autonomous Graph Mining Algorithm Search with Best Speed Accuracy Trade-Off. These are my co-authors. Many real-world problems are naturally modeled using graphs. Who buy which product in online marketplaces? Who follows whom in social networks? Who pays whom in payment networks? And even protein relationship in biological networks are modeled in graphs. Graph mining provides solution to practical problems running on those graph structure data, such as classification, clustering, recommendation, or fraud detection. An additional array of a new graph mining algorithms is introduced every year to solve these real-world problems. With these tons of graph mining algorithms, practitioners raise the question, then which algorithm should we choose for our application? For example, a user A say, I want a fast recommendation system. Speed is more important to me than accuracy. Then another user B say, I want an accurate anomaly detection system. Accuracy is the top priority to me. However, Graph mining algorithms often have distinct problem definition and different conceptual formulation. This lack of unity makes it hard for practitioners to determine which algorithm is suitable for their task among dozens of candidates. Then the algorithm selection becomes a resource-intensive process requiring expert experience and brute force search. In this paper, we propose AutoGM to cope with these problems for practitioners. We first unify various graph mining algorithms under one unified framework. Then, we propose an automated system for graph mining algorithm development. And this automated system will output the optimal graph mining algorithms tailored to the user's applications. This is the overview of today's talk. We have introduced the motivation of our work. And now, we first introduce unified graph mining framework. Then, we introduce a novel automated system for graph mining algorithm development. Then, we show some experimental results to prove the effectiveness of our approaches. Then, we conclude our paper. In unification of graph mining, we first introduce the target algorithms of this unification then show how existing algorithms could fit in our framework. Our framework embraces conventional graph mining and recent graph neural networks. We compare these two approaches under our framework. A goal common to many graph mining algorithms is to answer queries at node level based on global graph information. Our unified framework targets graph algorithms that use the message passing mechanism, which transmits the information necessary to answer such queries across edges. In classical graph mining algorithms, nodes propagate scholar scores to their neighbors, while in graph neural networks, nodes aggregate feature vectors from their neighbors. In short, both families of algorithms pass messages among neighbors, scholars or vectors, inbound or outbound. We propose a unified framework, unified GM for graph mining algorithms that employ the message passing scheme. Unified GM defines the message passing mechanism based on five parameters, dimension D, width W, length K, nonlinearity L, aggregation strategy A. Now, let me describe each parameter concretely. D denotes the dimension of past messages. When D is 1, messages are scholar scores. W denotes the number of neighbors each node communicate with. If W is minus 1, nodes communicate with all their neighbors. Length K decides the number of message passing steps. Nonlinearity L decides whether to use nonlinearities in the message passing or not. Finally, aggregation strategy A decides, first, if a node sends a message to itself or not, second, 
how to normalize the sum of incoming messages. They could be normalized symmetric or asymmetric or may not be normalized. Let's formulate our unified GM. Given a binary adjacency matrix A, we first generate a matrix A sample by randomly zeroing out entries of the matrix A. In A sample, each row have W non-zero entries. Then we aggregate neighbors following the aggregation strategy and result in the aggregated matrix A aggregate. In the third line, x k minus 1, the messages from the previous step aggregate messages from neighboring nodes by multiplying with the matrix A aggregate. The aggregated messages are transformed by transformation matrix W k and pass to the nonlinear function. By repeating this process, graph algorithms are working under our unified GM framework. We introduced the most popular graph mining algorithms exploiting the message passing scheme and show how they can be presented under unified GM. This table shows how to set initial node statistics and parameters of the unified GM to reproduce the original graph algorithms. For instance, for page rank algorithm, we assign uniform scores across all nodes in the graphs as initial node statistics. The dimension is set to 1, the messages in the page rank algorithm become scalar. The step is set to infinity, which denotes messages are passed until the convergence. The width w is set to minus 1, since in page rank algorithm, nodes communicate with all neighbors. The nonlinearity is false since the page rank algorithm does not use any nonlinearity. Finally, the aggregation step is set with no self loop with asymmetric normalization. Let's see another example for graph convolutional networks. We assign given node feature vectors as initial node statistics. The dimension is set to 64 since Hidden dimension in GCN is commonly set to 64. The step is set to 2, which denotes the two-layer GCN model. The width W is set to minus 1, since in GCN, nodes communicate with all neighbors. The nonlinearity is true. Finally, the aggregation step is set with self-loop with symmetric normalization. This shows that original message passing equations of the existing graph algorithms can be fully reproduced under the unified GM framework with the proper initial node statistics and parameter sets. As shown before, conventional graph algorithms and recent GNN are unified under unified GM. However, these algorithms are not usually analyzed in the same framework. What has prevented them from being combined? There are two main differences between them, the use of node feature information and trainability. While GNNs exploit additional node feature information, conventional graph algorithms set initial node statistics heuristically. While GNNs train their transformation metrics using node labels, conventional graph algorithms do not have a training phase in advance of an inference phase. Now, we show how Unified GM reconciles both families of algorithms. Under Unified GM, conventional algorithms are also applicable with node features. They maintain the same values for parameters, but just set the initial input dimension D0 to be the input feature dimension and use the first layer transformation matrix with size D0 by 1. This would yield a new version of PageRank or personalized PageRank algorithm that exploits feature information. Under unified GM, conventional algorithms are also trainable. The decay coefficient C in PageRank or personalized PageRank corresponds to a 1 by 1 transformation matrix W under unified GM. Because of its low dimension, this one-by-one -one transformation matrix has, seen, has been set heuristically. 
For example, C is used to be set with 0.85 in PageRank algorithms. But we could use label information to train this one by one matrix with gradient descent as we train it in the graph neural networks. In the experiments, we show conventional algorithms are trainable with feature information. We have seen that the message passing based graph mining algorithms are unified under unified geom with five parameters. Then the following question is, okay, then how can we f find the proper parameters? Given an application, what are the appropriate parameters to generate an optimal graph mining algorithm? And now we introduce our automated system to generate an optimal graph algorithm autonomously. AutoGM's goal is like this. Given a user scenario, we want to generate an optimal graph algorithm autonomously. Under Unified GM, we can replace this goal to find the optimal parameters DKWLA of Unified GM autonomously. Then let's specify the user scenario. When designing an algorithm for an application, we need to consider two primary metrics, computation time and accuracy. A user A say, I want fast recommendation system, so the maximum time is 10 seconds. And another user who tried to design an anomaly detection system, she can say the minimum accuracy is 8%. Here, we define the user scenario as the user's budget on computation time and accuracy. Then our problem definition on automated generation of graph mining algorithm becomes Given a user's budget on computation time and accuracy, find the optimal parameters DKWLA of unified GM autonomously, which is an optimization problem. We define an objective function for this optimization problem. A graph algorithm X is presented by five parameters of unified GM. When the minimum accuracy constraint, ACC mean, is given, we try to minimize the computation time GX of algorithm X with an accuracy on HX denoting accuracy should be higher than the minimum accuracy. On the other hand, when the maximum inference time is given, we try to maximize the accuracy of algorithm X on the constraint that inference time should be faster than the given time budget. Then we replace the constraint optimization problem to unconstrained optimization using a barrier method. We replace inequality constraint by a penalized term in the objective function. Then we use Bayesian optimization to find the minimizer of this optimization problem. By solving this optimization problem, AutoGM outputs the optimal parameter set DKWLA of the unified GM. In other words, the optimal graph algorithm for the user's resource budget. More details are described in our paper. Now we show the effectiveness of our approaches through extensive experiments. We demonstrate how AutoGM trace of accuracy and inference time in practice. We run AutoGM with three different accuracy lower bounds and three inference time upper bounds. For each constraint, AutoGM generate a novel graph algorithm corresponding to a set of five parameters of unified GM. We compare the best algorithms found by AutoGM with baselines in terms of accuracy and inference time. As, showing, as shown in figure A, among algorithms satisfying an accuracy lower bound, the algorithms generated by AutoGM show the shortest inference time. Conversely, among algorithms satisfying inference time upper bounds in figure B, the algorithms generated by AutoGM have the highest accuracy. 
To show the search efficiency of AutoGM, we give the same maximum search time and budget constraint to AutoGM and random search, then compare the performance of the best graph algorithms each method finds. Random search samples each parameter randomly and defines a graph algorithm based on the sampled parameters. As shown in this table, random search often fails to find any algorithm satisfying the given constraint. Even random search succeeds to find one, the performance is lower than the algorithm found by AutoGM. Also, by adjusting the budget, AutoGM brings the best trade-off. For instance, AutoGM finds the fastest graph algorithm with an accuracy of 0.8 when the accuracy lower bound is given as 0.8. We have shown the effectiveness of AutoGM on the real-world graphs. Let's conclude the presentation. In this paper, we unify various graph mining algorithms under the unified GM framework. Then, we automate the graph mining generation problem. We generate the optimal graph algorithm given the user's resource budget. We hope we could empower practitioners without much expertise to deploy graph mining algorithms. Thus, take advantage of the great researchers have done in this field. Thank you for listening, and you can find our paper and code the URL below.